you know, there's no question that if you look at the historical context of how this has evolved and the promises that were made to Gorbachev when he allowed the reunification of Germany to happen when he was in those negotiations and he was promised that if he, if he allowed that to happen, NATO would never expand one inch to the east. There was a betrayal that happened and you know we can we can spend the time talking about that, and we need to look at that. We need to have that historical context. Um, but and to what extent the refusal, the dismissing of Russia's um, expression of con security concerns that were ignored for all these years, to what extent um, that has f played into the behavior we've seen in the last week is 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 something that needs to be really explored and, and analyzed and figured out. But in this moment, as Ira has mentioned, um, it's been a, it was a game-changing moment last week in terms of, not in terms of the history and not in terms of um, the seeds uh, 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 that were planted for what we're seeing today, but in terms of um, where, where we are in this moment and not really knowing where the end game is, what Putin's end game is at this point. We don't know where we're going from here. Um, no one, as I said, the experts said, no way is he interested in Kiev. No way is he interested. If, if at all, it would be the breakaway publics in the Far East and, and, and maybe in the South, but not, not, not Kiev. So this is, this is, we're in new territory, we don't know, and we don't know who we're dealing with either. So I think that we're gonna to have to reckon with NATO expansion. We had an opportunity at the end of the Cold War, Gorbachev had put out at the UN as, uh, the idea of, you know, there's no more Warsaw Pact, Pact, why do we need NATO? Why don't we have a collective security architecture for Europe? We're not threatening each other anymore. We had that opportunity. We, we, really, um, we really ignored that opportunity and we took advantage of Russia's weakness. And that's all part of history. And it's, it's very painful. Um, that being said, we're in a moment now where um, we have to deal with what we're seeing unfold and in real time and, and go from there.